Okay, folks, going to try to get this back and get this taped out as fast as I can. Now, you can see the roundness of the meatball or a new meatball. And remember, we got Uranus and Pluto and everything in our back door right now. Okay, now let me, you see this roundness right there. You can't miss that, okay? It's not going to help me blowing it up any because if I blow it up any, well, I didn't mean to do that, but it's not going to help any, you see? So basically, I'll pop back down. And we'll just go, actually, we can just go under a little bit. We'll even go to like 75%. And you see the roundness? You can really see it there. There's something up there by the sun, and we caught it. Basically, we're not getting any movies right now. So basically, here's a little movie, okay? I can plop in. Since this solar panel, and I wasn't saying the right word before, but solar panel for the uh, satellite, okay, that's not the International Space Center. It's basically the solar panel. on the, All these satellites have solar panels on them out there, uh, free energy. So basically, uh, the sun blocks, I mean, this blocks the sun in the hole there, okay? The sun is basically almost burning through more than likely the satellite right there, or maybe one of the supergiants, okay? This is a vast amount of space. Now... We are getting, and then what is, since the satellites are behind, that we are getting these shots from, okay, right? Now, I can do the video deal through here. I'll try to get more, and basically, there's a meatball, or meatballs again, okay? My, the meatball might be way farther away right now. Who knows? Because we're getting it at a far away shot from the sun, and basically, when the sun gets that CME and it comes out here, it almost does a holograph on, like, another sphere right here. Or maybe there is another object right there. Who knows? But we do know you can't miss this dark because even the CME bounces off this thing, okay, whatever the hell it is. There's also that this constellation here in front of whatever that meatball is, okay? So basically, I'll just pop back to these shots again real fast. That was the shot that's mixed in with the H1B shots that I'm getting a hold of so that you realize that that's what we're going back through because what goes on when I keep going like this and then I'll just see what I had for shots. And then this was a darkness shot at that time. And I was like, what the hell is in front of the sun? Okay. And then I, I told you there'd be CMEs and so forth and so on. Okay. But then actually, if it's not no overlays, we're actually getting a real shot there from space upside down. Okay. If that is upside down, then we have two gigantic spheres that are out there by the sun. Okay. Because that's just an actual factual shot, but it should be possibly CME action, okay? So then we'll pop back through this. That was the next shot I was looking at. Now, like I was saying, oh, it's hella dark out there in space. Something's in front of the sun, and we've seen it blinking, and then also got all this uh, real shots here that are going to go to the black and white. They're going to show you all kinds of stuff that's going on. And actually, we'll go end up going, will it go back to what I was looking at on the shots? Yeah, there we go. So here we are on the shots that I was looking at. And you got all the thumbnails over here to the left that I was looking at. Okay. And then it started showing where there's, hey, there's something blocking the sun. See? And more like that's Mercury. Okay. And then wham, well, what is that? You see what I'm saying? So the meatball's up there deflecting light. Something's up there big deflecting light. Okay. CME action, correct. Okay. Matter of fact, I can blow these up a little bit more and go back and forth on these. I can go to like, hmm, maybe 150 and keep them in the frame. Actually, I'll go back down to 125. And we'll just go to 100. Screw it. Sorry, folks. Go to 100. I just want to hurry up and get this video out. So basically, I can just play a movie by going through the shots that I looked at. You see, so the sun has been CME in. That's these are all from H one B. These dramatic ones where it's like, wow, it's pushing down on it. And you can't miss it from B H one. Black and white resolutions. And look at the thumbnails to the left that I'm moving around, you see? So there's something coming in and going back on the sun. And basically, actual factual, it sure the hell ends up looking like the meatball. So I can even pull that. Actually, that's the shot I had there. And then, wow, dramatic arama. Okay. So now I just go back like crazy here with my clicker and get all the way back to what we were looking at. Okay, basically because I was telling everybody the Sechi isn't up. You see? So found out why. 
Now, there's my. Uh, I want to say hi to everybody, and basically, uh, Switzerland. Thanks for taking over, overcoming. Because uh, basically, there's Saudi Arabia is like at 24 or something like that on viewers that I've got that are normally watching. And I don't know if that's going to go to the next 50 or whatever. Oh okay, yeah, there we go. So Russia eight. Let's get down to the uh, normally Saudi Arabia is like 24, so they've been slipping. I don't know if some troops got moved or something like that. Iraq, three people in Iraq watch. Probably troops also. So I just want to say hi to everybody in the world, especially troops overseas. So and everybody, and then basically we're going to get Mac up here. I think I can still go to my analytics up here, and I'm going to go back. So because basically when I came back on the air, there was 1,700 and something. So roughly 8,000 people have seen me since how many videos? Hang on. So now, now the reason I do that is basically to show you and prove to you that the idea that they always hold the numbers down on my videos because they know it's actual factual data and they don't like people talking about it or seeing actual truth of what's going on, explanations about earthquakes and that the stars actually make the volcanoes erupt and the volcanoes are erupting to cool us to try to protect us from heat from the sun and the supergiants. So basically, we'll count through the videos that I've made and we've had 8,000 Plus, because see, it lies when you look at the, the amount on the videos that are watched. They lie like crazy, okay? So basically, they're on back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and this will be 28th video. I might be wrong. Somebody, one of my fans could even, or, you know, they're not really fans, but I just love sharing the data with everybody because it's truth. I hate liars. I love actual factual truth, okay? Everybody always stretches the truth. Okay, so check this video out because basically I'm showing you all the stuff from right from Navy, showing you everything that's basically actually factual in these shots. And basically that locked me out of being able to play a movie. I kind of screwed up there. So basically let me go back into this one and see what I can come up with. So I'm pretty sure they might be turning the satellite 360 degrees, but I'm not positive. But possibly not, okay? Okay. But no matter what, we're going to start from this photo here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back real fast through what I was, because what it'll do is I should, no, I was going to try to play you a movie by focusing in on a shot. So anyway, I got this shot, and then I'm going to try to go back from there. But you did see what we figured would be the meatball again on the latest shots, okay? This is a little bit earlier than that. This is the 1800 hour. You read this as 1800 hour. 49 minutes and one second, okay? On the 26th, okay? I had to wait for the photo to load, and here you go. So remember, we figured, and basically it makes sense that there is a meatball there, folks, in the CME action, because you can actually see around this right here. The meatball is back, or the meatball has a brother or a sister. I'm pretty sure the meatball's back. We'll so, we're moving into fall, so we'll know we'll have more action, Okay? Sure looks like it's there. And basically just go back in the video here because the idea that I had that action for you, but I can't go back through my back button. So let's go to the next shot. i got to wait for it to load. Okay, i got to hurry up and load this up because of just reasons. i got to hurry up and load this to get this video to you. And you can, you can see on the bottom, we know that that's not the meatball. Okay, When you have darkness like that, that's just darkness of space. Now, don't get me wrong, something could be shadowing and getting in front of the sun, but the CME light here shoots out, and basically our meatball is still there. It's pretty much here. And you got to go back to the beginning of my movie and show you up in the corner that, that it's pretty much there. And let me see if I can just go down to the, the last shot and see that's where I was seeing the meatball. And there you go. Pretty much round it off, and maybe more than one. We might have meatballs. Because look up here, see this roundness here also? And it, go back and watch any of my hottie meatball or anything like that. Go back and look through all my videos, anything that has a meatball, and you'll see what we found. And basically it's well known that there's some massive crap out there in space. Okay? And that thing is just literally blocking the CME action right here. So basically I'm going to throw this up on, on the net. 
So I'll shoot this out, but it sure looks like we got two meatballs up there. And from the black and whites that we went back to and stuff like that, you know that we've got something blocking the sun on the sun. Blocking, yeah, blocking the sunlight from the sun. And possibly the super giants too. It's so damn big. Okay. So let's go back one. I, I got a little bit of tape here. Let's see if this loads. It should load because I've loaded this picture before. There you go. And then there's darkness later on the bottom. And there you go. This really shows up good that there that is there. I mean, it really makes you realize. And I can knock it down to like 75%. And there you go. You can't meet. It just looks like a big eight ball right there, man. And then it looks like there's something else up here. Okay, round there. And you can't miss the roundness right here. And there's a constellation of something there. And I really think this to be possibly... It can't be for damn sure, but anyway, you got what you got right there. Let's give it this shot. I got some videotape here still. I might as well get to the 15 minutes. So anyway, folks, there's lots more, and I hate that when they throw that other shot in there. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a killer shot, but we want to see that there. This is the next shot, and I'll back up some more, and we'll see what else we get. But there is definitely something getting in front of the sun. sure looks like another meatball to me because down on this lower area you see that this, this is a normal shadow okay then there might be some other object up there that's huge that's blocking the sun a little bit but then you still kind of see where the CME is going off and hitting the meatball here and it just doesn't really it kind of hits the meatball and bounces off because this this CME goes through space very fast if you've seen the videotapes before of the, the live movies of the CME. So remember, it's getting pretty hard to, and then like I showed you, Sechi's movies aren't up right now. So this is the best way you can look at this stuff. So and that one's not loading very fast. So let's go see if this one loads. And I'm starting to wonder if they're pulling pictures down off of it too. And basically there again, the meatball should still be there because it's catching that CME there. And down here lower, it's dark. The sun's really not doing much there. So let's try to go to, and there you go, there's some more action. So basically, we have found a meatball again, i.e., I think a pretty darn good one was just like this, same area, right there, the meatball. Okay, it's back, because you can see the CME curling around it, almost like a fog. So, anyhow, if not the meatball, it's something else, and there's more than one meatball, so meatballs it is, and they're not giving us any movies from Sechi. Highest earthquakes, and like I was showing in my earlier videos, getting some action out there. Kentucky. Indiana, southern Indiana. All right, so let's blow this up and go down through the what's going on. Shouldn't be much fresher than what was earlier, so I don't really need to waste too much time with it. So anybody that hasn't paid attention, you can stop and freeze your video. That's how busy we are, North America. Quakes, 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 quakes. Okay. And like I watched my earlier video before these last couple, because basically we had one in North Dakota. I felt the latest Navy shot in the sun. So, there's an old remnant. Ain't going nowhere. Everybody check, start watching. I need people to start watching Rothabara. It's very interesting. It's very bright again, seems like. Very bright object. The other side show is Mexico and then Kazakhstan area. Krajizistan. Krajizistan. 4.6. Remember, here's your magnitude right there, and let's roll down through this real fast. So later, folks.